It looks like some kind of peephole. What's on the other side? Oh my. The pervert! That makes sense. This goes into a restroom. It has to, right? A bathroom of some kind? <gasps> I think we found the guy. <gasps> Alright, we are here today taking a look at a little banger by the name of Sense, a cyberpunk ghost story. This is something I've been following for a while. I think I first heard about this game like three years ago, maybe even four. It's something I know I heard about for a while. The game itself reminded me a lot of a Cantonese folklore-inspired version of Ghost in the Shell. And then your main character is a fairly, yes, a little bit of fan service titillation type of waifu, and you know, you have sense in a nutshell, and that's all right by me. August 2084, Neo Hong Kong Subway. And there is indeed our character in question. Now, I have played, like, very early versions of this in the past. As I mentioned, I first heard about it a while back. So I'm not sure how different this is gonna be to that. If it's similar, just touched up and, like, you know, refined, good. I could kind of guide us there a lot quicker through. But so far, this star does seem very familiar to me. Okay, so there's no voice acting here, so, uh... <laughs> allow me to do my best female impersonation for you. What's that all about? That nightmare was so real. Okay. So we can interact with this here and, uh... What is that smell? It's coming from the back. Someone must have left their li Did that bag just move? It did. I really don't want to touch that. Not a scratch. Shirotech makes pretty great stuff for an evil 1%er megacorp. Mm-hmm. So we now have a PDA, which kind of dictates our UI, inventory system, quest, stuff like that. And here we have a poster of Keiko. She's the most famous pop star in the world and a local girl to boot. Even if she's a hometown hero, I definitely prefer bands like Gasteric Twirl. Sorry, Keiko. Why aren't you a hipster? Oh, it's popular. I don't really like it now. And here is our look at... Neo Hong Kong 2084. As I mentioned, there's a, a tad bit of fan service. Love to look at the game. The character animation, I'll be honest with you, even from the start, I wasn't exactly the biggest fan of, and I'm still not. It's just, for some reason, like, I, there's something about the legs that just throws me off. It's slightly a bit less, uh, I guess, apparent when she's running, but just walking, I don't know. But that's what they decided to go with, so it is what it is. Uh, we have to, we can interact with this body here. This many rounds fire, this guy must have been a dangerous. I'll have to remember to check the BBS when I get home. Okay. There's gonna be a lot of places we could actually talk and interact with people. Definitely encourage you to do that if yourself if you're playing your game, but I want to show you more of the gameplay, so I'm just gonna show you the important stuff. Is that the important stuff? <laughs> well, you know. If we zoom on in and just take a look, it's all fine, right? Arika, I almost called you Akira. Got a light? I guess I do. Uh, sure, actually, I'm surprised to see someone smoking traditional tobacco. They may be taxed to death, but nothing quite hits the sweet spot like the real thing. Hmm. This is the club. It is the Oasis. Ah! Get out of my way! Get out of here! Who is this? Aaron, somebody just pushed my ass over. I D. Sure. I must have dropped it when that girl shoved me. I don't care how clumsy you are, no ID, no entry. Great. So now we gotta find... This vehicle to be moved here. Crap, my ID slid into the car. Can't quite reach it. I shouldn't ruin my clothes trying. Maybe I can get the owner to move the car? They must be around here somewhere. Or I could ask one of the police officers to tow it. Besides, it is parked illegally right in the middle of the street. Ha <laughs> I mean... I'm not really one for, you know, being a snitch, but, I mean, if you're gonna just be parking wherever you want, you deserve the worst. Now, fortunately for you guys, I believe I remember who the driver was, which should be this fella right here. Excuse me. Now we can proceed to our date here. All right, YouTube, I know what you're gonna say. Look, before you even start, before you even start, there's obviously, the game has censored the parts you have an issue with on the human anatomy when it comes to females, alright? Howdy, darling. What's a little thing like you doing out here? 
Um, first aid? Oh, damn, girl. Sure, are dressed for it. I can tell you're nervous. Try not to worry, boys out these days ain't exactly known for the masculine charm. Tell you what, first thing's on me. Oh, really? Thank you. I actually never drink at bars, so maybe you can surprise me? But if you don't mind, I'd like to wait until my date gets here. I'm kind of a lightweight plus the acid. Asian glow? Ain't you just the cutest little? Me too, darling. Why'd you think I got this tan? You go and find yourself a seed. When your boy gets here, you let me know and I'll whip you both up something special. I guess I could spend some time around the bar before he arrives. Like what you see? Enhancers like these aren't that expensive, you know. I would love to show you a little more sometime. I, I think you're showing me enough right now there, Gigi. Okay, so apparently my vision's getting all messed up now from that bump we took earlier. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me, miss? What's the matter, sweetheart? Don't tell me you, you were stood up. Oh, no, I don't think so. Not yet, anyway. I'm just having an issue with my eyes. Do you have a private bathroom I could use? No problem at all. Hang her right by the boot and go through the door at the end of the hall. You can't miss it. Thank you, Thank you so much. I promise I won't make a mess. Don't you worry, sweetheart. Take your time. I'll keep an eye out for you, boy. It's like one of the nicest bartenders of all time. <laughs> Let's get into this restroom here. So, um, I mean, I didn't... This is kind of what I alluded to earlier when we got bumped into. I don't think it's really too surprising or shocking, but yes. It's a cyberpunk game, so our girl has enhancements to some degree. I don't think she's a cyborg or anything like that, but... Yes. Enhancements. It's really hard to tell when it comes to the cyberpunk thing. What is a cyborg now? What's a human? Apparently, as we left, there's still an image there. Now, unfortunately for us, we kind of zagged apparently when we should have zigged. And, um, we're outside. What the... None of this looks familiar. Did I take a wrong turn out of the bathroom? Were my eyes malfunctioning that badly? Alright. We've apparently reached a checkpoint. Good. What do we have here? It's a cardboard box. I doubt that there's anything useful in it. Besides, it's really disgusting going through other people's trash. Oh, a bobby pin. I'll hang on to this. Sis locks us out of the apartment enough that I memorize a few lockpicking videos from Shiro Shiro Duga. Oh, cool. Alright, we have a bobby pin as well. Should be useful. What about this eerie door here? Heavily rusted chains and an old rusted padlock. Oh. Sure. The bobby pin is too thick for the keyhole. I need to find a key. Some other room. Oh, come on. Too thick. It's a bobby pin. Here we go. Pick lock with a bobby pin. There. Now who's wasting their time on Shiro Shiro Duga? From now on, I'm carrying a pouch full of bobby pins with me everywhere. Oh, cool. Nothing a little bit of a uh, random breaking and entering on occasion, you know? Nothing but janitor supplies, though some of it may be useful. Take a pipe, take a stool, take everything. Why not? It's a video game, so we probably have unlimited inventory. A little cumbersome, but I need both the pipe and the stool. Do you, though? Do you really? Okay. Can we do something with the pipe here now? Heavily rusted chains? Yes. Okay, I just gotta put some oomph into it. Come on. Finally! Why does the wall sell out longer than the chain? Alright. We put some oomph into it. What the hell? Oh, this dude's like all contorted. Where is he? Where's he at? What? Okay. Is he, is he where I'm going? Why am I going there, then? A gust of wind just came out of the stairwell. Oh, jeez! Oh, god, you weren't there before. Look at this dude. Oh, his neck's all pulled out and then bent back. What the hell is that thing? There's no time. I hope this leads to an exit. Uh. We still have the pipe. Which apparently we threw at him. Oh, it has a flashlight. What was, that? what was that thing? It doesn't look like it followed me. Either way, I need to find a way out of here as soon as possible. Nice. Okay. Another checkpoint, then we have a flashlight, which apparently we could turn on and off. Might be something important for us later. Looks like an old mailbox. I wonder if I could find anything useful inside. Hmm, most of the boxes are rusted shut. But a few should be able to open. 
I guess we gotta find something to break it up. It's no group photo. It looks like this was an old apartment building. There's a hole over one of the faces, though I don't know who the names belong to. Shang Sing Apartments, December 1983. A lot of names there. <laughs> Still a lot of names. They all look so close. 100 years ago. The hell was that? Sounded like a gunshot. Well, oddly enough, there's like a bullet hole right there, one could say. Oh, a wire like this could be definitely useful. Mm. We can't take it yet, so we might have to get it later, but not right now. Damn, the elevator must be dead. There has to be a way to power it back up. What's that noise? I heard a metallic clank somewhere close by. That doesn't look too good. I'm gonna ignore that part. Did you do a metallic clank? I can probably pry open box 11037 using just my fingers. The only other box that looks like it might open is 1104, but I'll need a key. Oh, sweet. Looks like a door key. Maybe it's the one for the office? Oh, this office. Why is it all tagged up with all these red things? You know, like, I, I know a little bit of this, and like, this is usually to like, ward off evil spirits and stuff like that, right? It's a bad idea. It's an old note from a local locksmith. Ed, sorry I missed you today. I did my best on such short notice. Slipped your replacement into the usual place. Hopefully you didn't lose your backup too. Haha, <laughs> Liang. It's dated August 23, 1983. Exactly 100 years ago today. Oh, so I guess we probably should have checked this out before it told us about the office when we got the key. So we did things a little bit out of order. Oh well. As long as I'm getting to point B, it's all good. Some papers, an archaic media device, and... <laughs> okay. It is a cassette. Yeah, it's fairly archaic now, even in 2020 standards. In a key ring. I mean, take everything, right? But let's read the note first. August 23, 1983. Tony, I had enough. I have had enough and will not be covering for you anymore. Several of the tenants are now at my throat over your behavior. I have no choice but to terminate our business relationship and ask you to vacate before October 1. I've given you extra time as a favor for your years of hard work. I won't call the police, but I cannot guarantee that the girl won't. If I were you, I'd be out as soon as possible. Eddie. Oh man, this dude, whoever he's talking to sounds like a real creep. Alright, let's take the keys. The keys have numerical tags on them. Oh, for the mailboxes. Some papers in our kit. Yeah. Alright, so I guess that could open up the last box that we could not otherwise, which is 11 or something, right? Yeah. Rather small. Cabinet or a lock. Well, you know where there's a drawer that apparently requires that, so... What? Oh, God, you're back. Uh, is that door gonna keep him out? Okay. He's actually banging on the door. Um, we, we need to hurry. Yeah, I know. Uh, top drawer? Oh, uh, take fuse, take letter opener, I mean, take everything. What about replace a burnt fuse? Okay. Um, elevator? On? Uh, how am I gonna get past this guy who's apparently covering my- my path that destructs you! Hey, buddy! Uh, <laughs> Run through? Oh, dodge. Stay away! Uh, my bracelet apparently broke? Okay, keep running. Keep running. Where am I going? I have no... Uh, elevator, right? Come on. Please. Go. Elevator, please. Oh, no. Hurry up, you ding-dong! Alright, let's see what type of hijinks await for us here. Enter 205. Door is locked. Well, apparently... That one might not be, unless this ghost decided to freak me out, locked it behind him. Or her. What about this rock here, or whatever this is? Can't interact with that? A draft must have closed the door, and it must have already been locked from the inside. Either way, I don't need a key. Oh yeah, <laughs> what a convenient set of circumstances, huh? 204? The door's locked with a chain, perhaps with something slim enough to fit through the door crack? I should unhook. I could unhook it. Oh, nice. Yeah, forgot all about that. Okay, how about we uh, turn the lights up in this place here? Interact? 
Something on the floor? A dusty old book. Wait a sec. An old trunk. The lock's old fashioned should be easy to pick if I can find the right tool. Oh, it's probably when you need one of those little bobby pins you were talking about, huh? I need to find a way to unlock the box. Alright. <laughs> There's a hole in the wall behind the clothes. Mm, I wonder if this leads you to... Well... Would it connect to 205? I don't know where it connected me to, but... Slightly creepy return. Not yet. Let's uh, not run. I don't want to run right into... A bad situation here. Statue of some kind. Creepy ass doll. Leng... Lenglot? I thought it said leg it out, and I was like, oh, it's a... It's a... <laughs> it's a workout magazine. No, I think that's actually a... An adult magazine. An offering cup. The jaw sticks are all burnt out, but I should hang on to this. Oh, sweet. All right, we got some items here. We have one of those fortune kitties. Japanese lucky cat statue. Closer inspection, it seems to be a piggy bank. Mmm. <laughs> Could this possibly belong to a spirit? And I'm doing a very bad thing here by taking his supplies and his offerings. Oh, whatever. A gotcha, gotcha coin. Alright, we have a gotcha, gotcha coin. Anything else? It's empty. An old cigarette case. It has a Chinese black dragon motif on the front. Wait, there's a note next to the case. Half of the paper's torn, but I can make out most of the note. Don't trust Brian? Up to something. The rest is some kind of symbol or word I can't read. Let's see. Paper half. Oh! A ripped piece of paper? Only a 9 and a 6 are clearly visible. What is that pink thing over there? Several glass bottles, there's an odd smell coming from them. But in an emergency, bottles like this might come in handy. Why don't you grab them then? Interact. It looks like some kind of peephole. What's on the other side? Oh my. The pervert! That makes sense! We have the booze bottles over here, we have the, the dirty magazines, and we have peepholes. This goes into a restroom, it has to, right? A bathroom of some kind? <gasps> I think we found the guy. <gasps> oh, it's a little girl, it's even worse. What the hell? Judging by the distance I walked and the apartment layout, that's most likely apartment 206. It doesn't look like an exit, but I bet I can find some answers in there. Which is- Oh, jeez! Run! Oh. I wanna get a good look at this, hold up. Is he ch not chasing anymore? Was that dude naked, by the way? Yep, he was naked. And he's got some weird-ass fingernails happening. Okay, we, we gotta go. I was hoping we're gonna, like, you know, continue looking down more, because it seemed like there was more stuff there, but please return. Are you are you still chasing? I'm, I'm leaving this apartment, just in case. Are we good? <laughs> okay, we're fine. Just a bathroom. Nothing useful seems to be in there. A bunch of notes next to an old phone. Interesting, one of the notes is ripped. It matches the paper. <gasps> Four digits. Nine, six, one, five. So let's find out. Is it for this? Oh, it's still not for this. Oh. Mm, it did specifically say something about, like, um, unlocking it, huh? Well, I thought, it, I guess, I was hoping we could unlock it with a code, but maybe we need an actual utensil for it. Or at least we got the code for something, whatever we do need it. A workbench probably used for various repairs. There's a keysman machine as well. There's a rusted screwdriver. It could come in handy. This keysmith machine is locked with a four digit. We got it. We got it, right? Don't we don't have it? Nope. The table's covered in dusty, petrified food and dirty magazines. So you know what? This was Homeboy's um apartment. The pervert. So he had his crawl space, obviously connected to his apartment, and that's where we would go and peep on everybody in the apartment building. And one of them happened to be maybe a girl as well. Little girl, I should say. 
Somehow the stove seems to still have power. Hmm. Odd. A framed photo by an American soldier with a young Asian boy holding a baby. Judging by the military gear in the age of the photo, this must have been during the Vietnam War. There seems to be ashes and burn marks near the frame. Alright, well unfortunately, if it's not for that, we gotta continue going rolling then. Is that a mirror? Don't tell me that perv is gonna show up again. No, no, this one's actually dressed. Small shrine. Offerings to the dead. There's even some jaw sticks left. Well, we have a little, um, jaw sitting ourselves, huh? I guess we can't take these. And here's another one of these rooms with the tags on it. Besides the, the foo on the door, the apartment inside appears to be completely empty. The foo looks familiar to the one that stopped that thing from getting into the office earlier. Maybe I can hide inside this room if necessary. Hmm. So we're being chased, this is where we come, huh? The door's locked. Back in the leasing office. Okay. Well, unfortunately, we're out of time. I'm going to wrap it up here for this one. This has been Sense. Really liking it thus far. All the information for this will be down below in the description in case you want to pick it up for yourselves. If you want to see a bit more here in the channel, you know what to do. I'll catch you guys next time.